So what are the most common 3D printing materials out there to work with if you're just getting started in 3D printing? So there's actually, you can create any type of material that you really want for 3D printing. Right now, any thermoplastic that existed before has probably be turned, been turned into 3D printer filament that you can run through your machine. What's going to limit what you can actually use is the specs of your machine and how big your wallet is because some of them are still really expensive. But the most common ones that you'll run into are PLA, PETG, ABS, and then maybe a few other specialty ones like TPU, maybe polypropylene. Those are the most common ones that you'll run into. PLA is a bioplastic. It's made from cornstarch or soybean oil or whatever other kind of biomass that they can get a hold of to make that plastic. It's generally pretty easy to print with. It's relatively low cost and uh, it generally has great surface finish and is very common and easy to get a hold of. The next one is PETG. PETG is actually what disposable water bottles are made out of. And very often the plastic that you get for PETG filament is made from literally ground up water bottles that have been recycled into filament. If you get pure stuff, it's generally cleaner and a little bit easier to print with, but the recycled stuff is generally cheaper. It's called the RPETG. But then if you go into the ABS, ABS is actually the original 3D printing material because it is the most common thermoplastic in the world in general. ABS is used in almost all injection molding and a lot of your packaging and a lot of the bottles and parts and pieces that you would see out there in the normal world. So when 3D printing got started, ABS was the most popular material for a very short time because ABS is really difficult to work with. It warps a lot. You need to have really high temperatures of your print bed in order to support it. And it's generally if you have a, better if you have a printer that's enclosed to help reduce that warp. warp. It also is uh, kind of a dangerous material to work with because it has so much outgassing that it will really mess up your apartment or your office if you're printing a lot of ABS parts. So even though it's common, it's generally avoided by most uh, 3D printers. And if you want the same kind of material performance, you can generally get it with PETG. Now the other ones, uh, TPU. TPU is the most flexible uh, material that you can get out there. It's basically a rubber. So it's pretty difficult to work with unless you're using a direct drive uh, 3D printer. If you're using a Bowden extruder, you're gonna have a hard time. Um, but it generally runs at slightly higher temperatures. It's very durable, it's very chemical resistant, uh, and it's a great material if you want something soft and squishy. Polypropylene has been gaining popularity lately. It's generally hard to work with because it actually sucks water out of the air. So when you print with it, it actually starts to get bubbly and fuzzy and can jam your extruder and all kinds of different problems that can come with it. It can also warp really readily if you don't have the right temperature on your machine. But those are kind of the general 3D printing materials that you would run into and kind of a quick intro to them. If you want to, check out some of our other videos where we do a deep dive into each one of those materials. Thanks everybody.